We've also gotten a lot of audience questions over the last several weeks about people who come to the country illegally and if they can vote in the election. We want to break this down. So Simon, let's start with the basics. Are non-citizens allowed to vote in the election? No, that would be illegal. That'd be an instance of voter fraud. And so it's there's a certain per, uh, protections and safeguards in place to prevent folks from doing that. Primarily one is that uh, if you're trying to vote for the first time, uh, and even if you and if you can't provide a valid form of identification, then you can only cast a provisional ballot, which means that uh, you can. For, so, for example, if you uh, don't bring a valid photo, photo ID or correct form of identification to a polling place, you can sign an affidavit saying that under penalty of perjury, I'm able to vote. Um, and so if you, it's your first time voting and that's what you have to sign, and that means you have to come back to the clerk within six days of the election, showing that you have the correct documents to really make yourself eligible to vote. Those include Michigan's driver's license, driver's license from another state, uh, another sort of identification, a U.S. passport, military ID. And then some of the ones that have uh, gotten uh, folks a little bit, um, people who are concerned about voter fraud in particular, uh, despite evidence that there is not ongoing widespread voter fraud, is uh, utility bills and student IDs, specifically because folks do not have to be citizens to have these voter identifications. But at the same time, we do have a series of audits that sort of try to verify these things post-election conducted by election officials to try to see if this is happening. And in instances where it has happened, they've generally been isolated and uh, those individuals have been charged. So the long and skinny of it is no, they cannot. And we have a system of safeguards in place to ensure that that doesn't happen. Thank you for that. And you just listed several different forms of proof of identification that someone can use to vote. Can where can people, if they have more questions about this, where can they find that information? Yeah, I would turn towards the Michigan Secretary of State's website, but also uh, Bridge as well has a series of election FAQs, both these own episodes that you can turn back to where we've discussed this information, or our own articles that talk about what's required in voting and how those processes work. Great. We've also gotten this question several times, so let's answer it. Uh, can those who come here illegally get a driver's license and then use that driver's license to vote? No, they cannot. That's also not allowed. And it has been an issue that uh, immigration advocates in particular have pushed for. Um, advocates for undocumented immigrants in particular have wanted um, those individuals to be able to receive driver's licenses so that they can commute and earn a living while residing in the United States with under without threat of being detained or deported just by commuting to their jobs. However, that legislation has not moved through the legislature.